I just painted it. This is for my Alex's birthday is on the 18th and she lives in Washington, D.C. And so I just thought I'd send it to Alex. My son has cerebral palsy. And so, so I, so I wrote, I wrote his band teacher a card and I use the white pages. I've only paid $4 a month for the white pages, but I, I can type in everybody's name and get their address if you paid money, $4 a month. And so I said, I looked up his band teacher's address and I mailed him a hand painted card. And then I wrote the superintendent, I wrote the superintendent a card and said, Mr. Bitcher is such a wonderful band teacher. You should really, you should really write him and say what a wonderful guy he is. And you, Mr. Bitcher wrote him a card and, and thanked him. And I said, you could have given him a $5,000. A car is worth the world. That's why I give people cars because they, they're just worth so much. They made people happy. This book my art teacher just made for me and she made me this book. And these are all the pictures that I painted. And, and so, well, so all these were cards that you sent to somebody? Yes, I did. Jess is my art teacher. She's on the back. That's my, that's my good, good friend, Jess. I love her so much. She, was, she has really changed my world. And Mary sent her to me. And so that, that makes me really happy. I never painted before. My mother came over, my mother tried to, my mother, she dabbled in watercolors and bought me some watercolors. And when she came over, cause I, now I'm disabled. And so, so, so she, um, she, my mother got me really into art. And so my mother was the person that started me. And then Jess came over and, then it took off. Do you have any idea how many cards you've sent to people? Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds. How long because have you been doing this? Like my car accident was, my car accident was in 19, no, my car accident was in 2015. I was a school teacher to 2015. And then I had the car accident and I was in a coma for over three months and then I had to go to the rehab I had to go to DC to the rehab hospital and um and I couldn't even talk or walk or anything when I woke up I just I couldn't even talk or walk and so I had to I had to I had to learn things slowly and slowly and slowly and I used to have a strong belief in God. And, and, and then I had this car accident and I thought, why does God let death and destruction happen to people? Why did he let Hitler live and stuff like that? And that got me really down in the dumps, but I didn't ever get depressed. I just was grateful. So that's what I do. I used to pray every night. I used to pray every night. I used to pray every morning. But now I would say, I make a gratitude list. I say what I'm grateful for every day and every night. And I, I forget many times, but I, that's what I try to do. I try to say what I'm grateful for because I miss getting on my knees and saying a prayer. I used to do that all the time. I used to say, and so now just saying, help me God is just a prayer. Yes, it is. And so, and so I say that sometimes, just help me God, just help me God. And I really feel like he's been with me the whole time. It's interesting that you brought up journaling and gratitude because that's where I hope to take this program is develop more the gift of the present moment. And in the present moment, is where our gifts are because we we can't live in the past nor can we live in the future but we can live in the present 
And the present has many presents, many gifts for us. But so often we're so busy going about our day that we don't take the time to look or appreciate the presence, the gifts. The gifts, I, right? I totally agree. I totally agree with that. We have so many presents in our life and everything is just a present. Even I'm, I, I was left-handed before the accident and I can't move my right hand at all, but I'm left-handed so I could write cars and paint cars. I get grateful for that. and I, and I, I, I knew you were coming over today, and so I had to put on shoes for the first time during this pandemic. I usually leave my pajamas on and, and help Carson paint or whatever, but then I, then I hold my makeup, I, I put on my makeup, and then I curl my hair a little bit, and do it just getting ready for you, that's a gift. Oh. Just doing these little things is a gift. Because I, 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 I hold, I, I put my mascara in my other hand and I did this and this hand was a holder hand and then I did put my mascara away. And so I use my hand for putting on my mascara. Even the hand that's not doing other things like it used to, still has a purpose. Yes, yes, It still yes. has a usefulness. Yep. I, I, I think that just, I could just talk to anybody about being happy, about staying happy and being happy. Laughter is good. you got to laugh, but I don't know a single joke. <laughs> <laughs> but laughter is really, really good. Watch a funny, funny movie. And so, so I send people hundreds and hundreds of cards to make them smile. And so that's all I want to do is to make somebody smile when they open their mailbox. Sometimes people have just help me buy these paints at Walmart and I see their name, Sarah. And I say, Sarah, and I say, what's your last name? And she says, Sarah Smith. And so I, I write Walmart, Sarah Smith at Walmart. Wow. I write Walmart in care of Sarah Smith. And I say, thank you for helping me reach the paints on the top shelf and care of my basket for me or put my stuff in a bag for me. Well, oh. I remember when you sent me a card. I had created my first video, my first ever recorded art video. I remember that. And it was a Bluebells. And all of a sudden, I get this card in the mail with a picture of bluegrass. It just touched me and my family so much. And I didn't know you then. I had heard about you because Jess is my colleague and that she had referred you to my program when I started the Created for yeah, More. Yes. Yeah, but I know firsthand what it's like to receive one of your special cards. I appreciate you being so honest, Kelly, with your journey both physically, mentally, and, and also the spiritual journey. Because all of us have doubts and setbacks and um, moments where we feel close to God and other times where we feel distant from God. And I really appreciate that you were um, authentic in this interview and that you you shared where you've been and where you are and it's a process and it unfolds daily just like the rest of our lives right things change times where we we grow other times where we wait other times where we wonder what's going on here right exactly um, yeah thank you for saying that i really appreciate that we are thankful that we are created for more. And so are you. Yay, 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 yay. <laughs>